In this video, we will talk about how to interface WineTech IIoT device with MQTT Broker. Now, if you're new to MQTT Broker, MQTT is basically a cloud service in which we can publish and subscribe the topic. So basically, you can share the information via the cloud in a very light transportation mode. So this is a very lightweight protocol which can be used for message sharing. So we will see how our IIoT device can interface with Mosquito MQTT Broker, which is an open source MQTT broker available. All right, so let's see what we have in this video. So I will be starting with MQTT information model, how my devices are linked together. So initially we have a Siemens PLC, and which is linked to IIoT device via OPC UA. This we have seen before in my previous videos. Now what we are going to do is this MQTT client is going to publish the topic to Mosquito MQTT broker. Okay, so this publishing of topic means whatever information I want from my PLC, I can push to my cloud. This can be the temperature, suppose if PLC is measuring a temperature or measuring a level, or it could be any information which I want to send to the cloud that I will uh, send as a published topic. Okay. So for testing the cloud, I'm using this test.mosquito.org. So my information will be going to this server. And similarly, <clears throat> my IIoT device is capable to subscribe the topic. It means it can read the information which is in the cloud. So this is the role of this device to push the information to the cloud and to read it back. And by reading it back, I can use that information in this PLC or in another PLC, wherever I want. Okay. On the right side of the cloud, I will show you some more MQTT client. For example, I publish the information in the cloud. Then I have another client which can be a computer. And this computer can read that information. So for example, I take a pen. No, I don't see a pen here. Okay, for example, the information is the temperature. So this will be published in the MQTT and that will be subscribed to read in the computer. Similarly, computer can also publish some information which can be subscribed by the PLC. So the information flow will be like this. It can be like this. Furthermore, you have more MQTT client. For example, it can be an IoT device. So if you have another IoT device at another location, so suppose this is in, let's say, Australia, and this is, this is in China. So they both can communicate via common server. We will see that in today's example. An MQTT client could be a mobile phone with using an MQTT app, which can read the data. So this is the three area which we are going to explore today. So starting with the first project, we have to publish a topic, which is a Siemens PLC tag. So whatever information is in the tag to the MQTT cloud and subscribing the topic in the computer. That's what we have to do in the first project. So very quickly, I will open my Easy Builder Pro. Now here, if you see this MQTT button, you have to press this and you have to make it enable, and then you will see this window. So I have some topic to publish because we want to publish the data to the cloud. So for demonstration, I have shown three topics. So you can click on new. Basically, it will open this window and then you have to put a nickname. You can put any name you want, but in the topic, this should be a unique name. So you have to make sure your topic is unique enough so that it will not conflict with any other topic. Okay, so I choose IoT dash two slash value one. Okay, and then how do I send this topic? Now, this topic is just, um, I would say just a string as of now, but what is this topic? I will come to this part later. The topic will be when you go to the address and you add a tag here. So here I added a tag. The name of the tag is value one, which is basically coming from my device S7-1200. And the tag is value one, plz one block test dot value one. And what is this tag? Basically, this is my OPC tag. So if I go back and close my MQTT, go to my OPC, and if you see this value one this is the tag we have defined before in the previous lessons if you remember so basically i'm linking this tag value one with the topic here topic one so my topic one which is I o iot2 value one is linked to an opc tag so in this case i have made more topics so i have three topics topic two is linked to another address which is value two 
and then you have topic 3 which is linked to another address which is value 3. So I made basically three topics because in MQTT we always talk in a language of topics to subscribe and to publish. So basically I'm moving three tag values value 1, value 2 and value 3 to the MQTT cloud. That's what I want to tell you. And yeah, so suppose the value one, now coming to the sending mode, how this value will be sent. I made it based on bit trigger. So if there is a bit which I trigger, then it will push the value to the cloud. And what is that bit? This is off to on. This is the behavior of the bit. And the bit is Q0.0. .0. So if my output Q0.0 .0 is true, then this topic will be pushed, which means the tag will be pushed to the cloud. Oops, I made a mistake. Wait. Yeah, when this Q0.0 .0 is true, then this value one, which is an OPC tag, which is this one, basically goes to the cloud. Simple as that. And this will go in a JSON format. I will show you later. So all my three tags have this property that it will be moved when, moved when Q0.0 .0 is on, okay? And my IIoT device has a continuous connection via OPC to my Siemens PLC. All right, so I have downloaded this logic and now I will go back to my node red window because that's the way how I can turn it on. So I've made this window and you have seen this window before. <clears throat> so basically this is my Q0, Q0.0. .0. Now how do I know what is the value in the cloud? Coming back to the presentation. This is moving the value to the cloud. Now we will read the values in a computer. That we can do in a node read or we can, we can do in another app. Okay, so let's use this app. It's an optional. So this is my app. So here if I show you the connection of the cloud, you can download this app. It's called MQTT Box. Oh, I cannot show you here, maybe about. Yeah, MQTT Box, you can download for your Windows. You can download for your browser. It works on Chrome, Linux, Mac, web or Windows as well. Okay. So in this, I made a client, this one. So you can select create client, and then you have to put some values. So you can give your name, client, a name, wine tag. You can select the protocol, mqtd.tcp. I'm not using any authorization. So username, password is empty. This is by default. And you have to put the host name. This you can find in the website of Mosquito server, test.mosquito.org, colon 1883. This will be auto-generated. That's it. This is the, how you can make the connection and you will see it is connected. Now, now coming back here, I have to subscribe to the topic because the topics are being published. Okay, so I will go here and now what will be my subscriber? So if I click on add subscribe, it will ask me which topic I want to subscribe. So I will go back here. I will check my topics. So for example, this is my value one. So I have to just copy this. This is a unique one. I told you before, copy this one, paste here and click subscribe. Now, when you subscribe, you should be able to see here the values, but the values are based on the trigger, based on Q0.0. So I will go back here and the value one is 39. I think I will make it like this. So let's see when I turn it on. So once you turn it on, it should be able to move the value. Now you can see the value. It says D value 139. So your value is here and this is your timestamp 2019 for yeah, 12th of April and then the time and that's the value. So if I change the value 57, you can see the value updated immediately. So here you are using <clears throat> a Windows application to read the value of PLC, which is going first to the cloud. It's going to the cloud and coming back to my computer in a fraction of seconds. This was the example I wanted to explain you. Now let's see if I subscribe to topic two. And topic two is basically just value two. Rest of the rest of them is same. So I'll minimize this. And oops, sorry. I can add one more subscriber and here I will write value to subscribe. Here I will see the value which is 46. So I can change it. You can see the value updated. I can add third subscriber to read the value of third tag which is 24. 
Okay, so these three values are coming from the cloud, from test.mosquito.org. That was the first project. I hope you find it interesting. So moving ahead, <clears throat> second project, I want to publish this topic similarly, but now I will read in the mobile phone. So in this case, I will open my mobile. So I wanted to show you how we can do it in mobile. Hold on a second. So I will open this MQTT app. And here the host is same as test.mosquito.org, port number is same. No username, password, click on connect. And once you're connected, go to subscribe. And here you can put the address, let's say value one, and I click subscribe. And you can see the values are coming. And if I open this value, you will see it's 57, which is here, right value. So if I change the value, let's say 23, and then I click again, it should be 23, you can see here. If I change to 69, and then I open it again, it's 69. So let's check immediately for, I will unsubscribe this, value two, subscribe, and now you can see their value two, and it should be 60, you can see here. So this is coming in my mobile, I'm in a different network. And if you would be watching this live, you could also check it on your mobile. So value three should be 59 and it's 59. So we have seen very quickly that how easy it is to fetch the values in your mobile phone coming from a PLC. So now you can imagine a situation in case if you have some alarming situation, you can get a message on your phone immediately. Or if you just want to monitor, if you just want to monitor some temperature, some pressure value on your phone continuously, you can also do that. So this was about how you can subscribe to the topic which was published in the cloud by IIoT device. Now comes the last project. This is very interesting. In this case, what I'm just showing you an example about the possibilities. The Siemens PLC is publishing the topic to the cloud via IIoT device. And now via Node-RED, I'm reading the topic and I'm pushing the value in the Delta PLC. So what exactly happening? This PLC is following the Siemens PLC via IIoT and MQTT Cloud. You can check it here. If you notice, when I change the value of Siemens data register, Delta data register follows that. So this is value one tag, and this is D1 register in the Delta. So basically this is following the Siemens. And if I turn off this switch, Oh, I think there's a bit delay in the message. If I turn off this switch, then there is no message. It will just work independently. It will not send it to the cloud. So only when I turn it on, it will send the message to the cloud and then this will keep following it. All right, so let's see how I did that. So I will make it maximize. Now you know, you know up to this part, you know the values are published in the cloud, which is done here. So here I basically put the topic, I put the address, I told you before. And one thing I forgot to explain you, the server settings. So if I click on settings, here I put the cloud service normal protocol MQTT version 3.1. That's the domain name and that's the port ID. And you have to make sure this is tick. I forgot to explain you that. You have to make sure this is ticked, okay? Uh, this is ticked and you have to just put these two values. Rest of them is default. All right, so up to this part, you know how the values are going to the cloud. Now, how Node-RED is reading and putting to the PLC? Let's see that part. So here, if I show you my nodes, which would be quite interesting. Okay, now I am putting just the value one. You can see here, value one to Delta PLC. So how I'm doing that? If you notice this value one, if I open it, it has a server, which is the same server and I put the topic IoT2 slash value one. And how do I get this node? This is done if you install, if you install um, Mosca MQTT broker. From here, you can install manager palettes and you can see here, basically MQTT broker, you have to install this one and then you will find these nodes. So you just take one of these nodes, which is here, you can take this one 
this one is basically this one and when you open it you can type the topic and <clears throat> give the server address so it will st it will start reading now the value okay so i took this value and this value is coming in a string you know because the format of mqtd is in a string so this json is converting that string format into json object because i'm not going to explain you the function inside it i'm just showing you the possibility maybe in future lesson you will see how i made this so json is converting the string into an object and i'm extracting that object using a function and that function is going to opc and we're just writing the value in delta plc so if you see here i use a write function in opc and if you see this part delta plc dvp12 sa tags d1 and this thing comes from my opc address of delta so i will show you here so if you see d1 this is my delta and if you see d1 that's the address and that's the same address which i give it here for my opc item you see this one is similar to this one this whole thing so basically basically i am reading it from the mqtd and i am writing it via opc to my delta plc so here this is done by opc ua so that's how the information is traveled from siemens to iot device to the cloud and via node red to my plc now here i'm using node red you can also use don't forget you can also use IIoT device. You can use another IIoT device if you don't want to use a computer. I'm using a computer because I don't have two IIoT devices. So you can use maybe two IIoT devices if you like, if you don't want to use computer, and push the value to your PLC. Okay? So this was the idea of this project, and with that we have achieved the results. So basically, Delta PLC is following my Siemens PLC. Yeah, a little bit sluggish response. Sometimes the traffic is not so good. <laughs> so, but you can see that it is following the results in a few seconds. So, this was the idea of this lesson today, and I hope you liked it. I hope you understand why IoT is very important these days in the industry for many applications, for OPC, for MQTT, and just interlinking the device all together. So, having said that, I would say visualize your controller via WineTech IoT device and explore the possibilities. If you need more information, you can go to your go to the website www.winetech.com or you can also visit our website Code and Compile, where I will put more information about this project. So, thank you for watching, and I wish you a lovely day. Bye.